Hello and welcome. Today I'm going to walk you through how to become eligible for the upcoming airdrop from Camino Finance. For those of you completely new to DeFi and things like self-custodial wallets and airdrops, you might be thinking this video is going to be super complicated, but don't worry. I'm going to simplify everything, guide you through the process step by step and make it as straightforward as possible. So I'm currently working on a more comprehensive course covering all the basics of DeFi, Web3, self-custodial wallets, etc. But as this upcoming airdrop is potentially quite imminent, I wanted to make this video today due to the time-sensitive nature of the information. Now there's several notable projects on the Solana network that have upcoming airdrops in the future, but there's two that have grabbed my attention the most, MarginFi and Camino Finance. But just before we go any further, a quick disclaimer, the decentralized finance space is inherently risky. Whether you're trading, staking, borrowing, loaning, or holding crypto, it's all volatile and you should never invest more than you can afford to lose in these kind of projects. The text disclaimer at the start of this video covers this in more detail. So we'll start with Margin Finance. Now this platform utilizes a point system. Users essentially earn points daily for staking and loaning out their assets and borrowing against their collateral. Now the way the airdrop works essentially is when this platform launches its native token it will airdrop a portion, maybe 5-10% to 10 of its total supply to early users as a reward. And typically the amount of points you have accumulated directly correlate to how well rewarded you are. However, this is not always the case. Some projects reward the biggest airdrops to those with the most points, while others will distribute them more evenly, and this prevents whales from tanking the price and incentivizes a more community-like spirit. At the end of the day, you never really know exactly what you're going to get until you receive the airdrop. But if we look at the recent Gito airdrop on Solana, it rewarded even the smallest users extremely well, some who staked $100 to $200 worth of SOL on the platform ended up receiving thousands. Now unfortunately, most of the liquidity pools on margin fire are currently full, and for that reason you cannot loan or borrow assets here right now, making earning points almost impossible. The reason I wanted to show you this platform is because it already has a functional and operational point system, unlike Camino Finance. Camino Finance is similar, but in my opinion, a much more promising project. It has a point system coming soon, and the exact requirements for earning points on Camino have not yet been announced, but they will very likely be pretty much identical to Margin Fi's requirements. So with Camino we're earlier, therefore all the liquidity pools are not yet saturated to the max. The team have stated that even though the point system is not yet functional, all points will be backdated, so anyone who is already fulfilling requirements through loaning, borrowing and staking assets are already earning points. The team have hinted at a native token, so we know that big things are on the way, and getting in this early, in my opinion, could potentially be very rewarding for those who position themselves correctly. Let's take a quick look at this article here on Coindesk, talking about a potential Camino airdrop in reference to the Gito airdrop. Now I'm not going to go through all of this now, but I'll link it in the description. The key takeaway here is that a native token for Camino is extremely likely to be coming in the future, and the earlier we get in, the more points we accumulate, the more significant profits we're likely to see from this airdrop. So if this sounds like something you are interested in, then keep watching because I'm going to show you guys step by step exactly how to position yourself to maximize your eligibility for this airdrop. We'll start with the basics of setting up and funding a self-custodial wallet. If you're new to this, don't worry. Again, I'll make it simple. For those already familiar, this will be a quick overview. You can feel free to skip straight through to the next chapter. So we will be using Phantom Wallet, a popular self-custodial hot wallet for Solana. Firstly, you're going to want to make sure that you're using the correct browser, one that is compatible with the wallet. The primary browsers are Firefox or Chrome. For this video, we will be using Google Chrome. Head down to the description of this video and you will find the link to download Phantom Wallet. Once you've downloaded the wallet, it will take you to this page. You're going to go ahead and choose Create New Wallet. You will be asked to create a password. So as this is just a test wallet, I'm not going to pick anything too complex, but I recommend picking something secure yourself. Now this next part is extremely important, especially to those who are new to self-custodial wallets. 
After you generate your password, the wallet will generate a seed phrase. It's generated just once, so pay close attention. Your seed phrase acts as the key to your wallet. If you lose or forget your seed phrase, you will no longer be able to access your wallet or funds. It is crucial that you write down your seed phrase and store it securely. Avoid storing it on your phone or computer, as although it's convenient, it's like leaving your house keys under the doormat. There's always the chance that hackers, malware, or a data breach can compromise your device, private information, essentially giving anyone access to your keys and crypto. In my opinion, it's imperative to store it physically. Additionally, never give your seed phrase out to anyone, ever, under any circumstances. Not in response to tech support requests, not to friends or family, because if somebody gets it, they get full control of your wallet and funds. Anyone asking for your seed phrase is always, without exception, trying to scam or steal from you. It is for your eyes only, and there are no circumstances that would ever warrant you needing to give it to someone else. So once you have securely stored your seed phrase, go ahead and click I have saved my secret recovery phrase and continue. And that's it. Your wallet is all set up. You'll find it up here. Just hit this little puzzle piece icon and you should see it listed. And if you hit the little pin next to it, the wallet will stay in your taskbar just here, making it easier to find in the future. Okay, so now we have our phantom wallet set up, we're going to go ahead and deposit some funds into it. Some of you may be wondering, how much Solana do I need for this to be worthwhile? And unfortunately, the answer to that question isn't very straightforward. I can't say for certain, however, to take an educated guess, I would say at the absolute minimum, one sol. Any less than that and you are likely not going to be eligible for an airdrop. In this video, I'm going to use 10 sol. This is purely for demonstration purposes. You should invest as much as your risk tolerance allows. What I will say is whatever you put in should be an amount that you are comfortable leaving staked for a few months at the most, as this isn't going to work if you withdraw your funds before the airdrop. So to send your Solana to our wallet, first of all, we need to purchase some Solana. And the easiest way to do that is on a centralized exchange. So I'm going to be using Binance here. And as you can see, I have a little over 10 Solana in my wallet. And I'm going to go ahead and show you how to send that to Phantom. Firstly, if we head back to our Phantom wallet on our browser and hit Solana and deposit, it will give us our wallet address. All we need to do is simply hit the copy button here. Now we go back to Binance and hit the withdraw button on our Solana, paste the address of our Solana wallet in here and choose the network Sol. Double check that you got the address correct here as if it's wrong, you will lose your funds. I typically just read the first few characters of the wallet on Solana and then double check on Binance that they correlate and assuming everything looks good, you can go ahead and withdraw. If you're unsure, you can always send a small amount initially to be certain you have the correct address. But as long as you hit the copy button on the Phantom Wallet and choose the correct network, you should have no issues. Now you will pay a very, very small fee for this withdrawal, probably less than $1. And as the Solana network is super fast, you can expect your funds to arrive most of the time within a few minutes at most. Now, as you can see, we have successfully withdrawn our Solana to our self-custody wallet. So at this point, our wallet is set up, funded, and we can begin the process of using our soul to position ourselves best for the Camino airdrop. Quick heads up, if you are living in the United States or United Kingdom or a similar restricted region, you will need a VPN to access some of these products and services. This is a very simple fix and any free VPN will likely work. So the first step is we're going to head over to a website called Marinade. Again, the link to this is in the description of this video. I have added my referral link there, but you can always just Google the site if you would prefer to do it that way. Marinade is the biggest and most popular Solana staking solution. So to start, we're going to click optimize your staking, connect wallet, phantom, and then go ahead and hit connect again. And now it's going to bring you to this page. We're going to go stake sol max. Make sure that delegation is set to automated and staking is set to liquid down here. 
then hit stake. Now it's going to ask you to approve the transaction in your wallet. Don't worry about the slight discrepancy in price or amount. I can assure you that the dollar value of your assets will be the same after this transaction, minus the tiny fees. MSOL is slightly more valuable than SOL itself, so you receive slightly less of the token. So even though it looks like you are paying huge fees, in reality, you are paying a tiny negligible amount. We have now successfully staked SOL on Marinade, and in return, we can see we have an asset in our wallets now called MSOL. In addition to this, as we have staked on Marinade, we are actually earning MNDE token. So that will be earned passively in the background over the course of the next month. So this is where things start to get a little bit more complicated, but again, don't worry, we will take it nice and slow and one step at a time. Next up, we're going to head over to Camino Finance. Again, you can find the link to this in the video description. We first want to connect our wallet. So firstly, we're going to head up to the top right here, connect wallet, choose Phantom, and connect. Now we can see that our wallet is connected, we are going to head over to the borrow and lending page. Most of you should already be on this, but if not, you can find it by clicking up here. Now from here we can see a long list of assets, but the one we want to focus on is MSOL. So we are going to click Supply, Max, Deposit, confirm the transaction in our wallet and wait for confirmation. We have now provided liquidity and we can see here that we are earning approximately 0.02% APY from this which is essentially nothing. The purpose of providing liquidity is not to earn an APY. The purpose of providing liquidity is so that we can use it as collateral to borrow. Remember, we want to utilize all of the primary features on this platform to maximize our points and by extension, airdrop rewards. This includes lending, borrowing and staking. So next up, we are going to go to BSOL, which is just below, hit Borrow, Max, Borrow BSOL, and approve the transaction in our wallet. So now if we hit Refresh, we can see from the main page here, the net value of our assets, which is essentially the liquidity provided minus the liquidity borrowed. We can also see our net APY, and because the interest we receive on our loaned assets is less than the interest we pay on our borrowed assets, we have a negative APY. To resolve this, we are going to implement one final step. Head over to the Liquidity tab at the top of the page and go ahead and click on BSOL-SOL. In this little box here, we are going to click on the drop-down menu and switch from SOL to BSOL. Once again, same process, deposit, max, and confirm the transaction in your wallet. And now you are earning an average of 3.76% APY from your borrowed BSOL. This more than covers the interest you are paying on your loaned and borrowed assets. Now it's very important that you stick to only borrowing BSOL against MSOL as the two assets move synonymously in price, meaning, put simply, your chances of ever being liquidated are almost zero. So at this point, you are fully positioned to earn the maximum amount of points from Camino when their system goes live. And remember, points will be backdated, so in theory, you are already earning points. The longer you leave your assets loaned, borrowed and staked, the more points you will receive, and by extension, the bigger the airdrop you will likely get. Be aware that if you withdraw your funds immediately, you will most likely not be eligible for this airdrop. Myself personally, I will be leaving my funds staked until I receive the airdrop. So that covers pretty much everything guys. I hope you have enjoyed the video and found it useful. If you want to stay up to date with major updates from the Camino team, you can join their Discord and I'll leave that in the description. More importantly, if you want more videos covering airdrops like this one, be sure to like and subscribe. For everything trading floor related, you can find our link tree in the description at the top. 
You can also join our Discord as a free member or find out more about our paid membership and what we offer from our website. Take care, guys, and I'll see you in the next one.